morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. It is a snowy morning. We're headed into Walmart because we are making a yummy Zupa Toscana soup, which is like the copycat version of soup plantations. I have a friend oh, and a neighbor. No. What's, oh no. Soup plantation. You don't like soup plantation? <laughs> anyway, I have a friend and a neighbor who just had shoulder surgery and I want to bring over a meal to her tonight. So I'm going to make that. I'll share the recipe with you. Let's get going. We are braving the snow and the people and trying not to get killed running into Walmart. <laughs> groceries in your car in the snow. Woo, we made it. <laughs> snow in my hair and all. How old were you when you first watched Home Alone? Six. You were six and we fast forward and rewound a few parts for you. Parents do that, that's our job. Bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse. All right, guys, we are home and cozy, and I am going to start that soup for you. I'm going to leave the recipe in the description box below, but this one is actually dairy free and gluten free, but I will leave the recipe with. Um, the dairy if you're interested in doing it that way too. I'll maybe leave both. Anyway, here we go. What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you add your entire onion with some olive oil and as much garlic as your heart desires and just kind of saute that, brown that up in the pan. And then I added some of um, my Italian sausage. It's a turkey sausage, you can use any kind you want. And I'm just gonna brown that up as well. Okay, next I am going to add three large russet potatoes. I clean them very well. I love to leave the skin on them because it adds a hardiness and a wholesomeness to the soup. And I'm just gonna kind of mix that in. I'm using a really good bone broth, chicken broth that is gluten-free, non-GMO, all the good stuff. And then finally, I have some fresh organic kale that I'm gonna throw in there at the last minute. Be sure to check the recipe below. I drifted back and then we got upside. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I really think your family is going to love this soup recipe. It's the copycat version of Olive Garden. I finally said it right. I think I said soup plantation earlier. It is Olive Garden, and you're sure to love it. The only thing extra that I added was a hearty garlic bread and a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. Okay, so I was listening to a um, podcast yesterday and it was talking about how many of us moms are super stressed right now in the holidays or if we're actually taking the time to enjoy the holidays with our family, just be home, not feel overwhelmed to have to get all the Christmas crafts done, all the wrapping and all the everything. And I just kind of stepped back and I took a second. I said, you know what? We're really enjoying it. We have days like today where I'm just, we're just in our jammies, snow days, um, watching Christmas movies, working on Christmas projects, making soup. It's like where we have one big activity in the day and that kind of our whole day revolves around it, but we're all just kind of home and snuggled in. And so I just encourage you to do the same thing at home with your families, enjoy every second. I heard someone say that our children are a little bit older tomorrow than they were today. So savor every single moment you have with them because tomorrow they'll be a tiny bit older. Right, guys, that is going to do it here on the channel for us today. This was a short and sweet vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's vlog, consider hitting that red subscribe button. Click that notification bell so that you don't miss one of our vlogs. I post new vlogs every single day. I try to do it around six o'clock Eastern time. It seems like with Vlogmas, I haven't gotten them up exactly at six, but there is a new vlog every single day. So enjoy. Hope you guys have a good night. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.